Our investigation has revealed that Mr. Mitsuhara, a Japanese language interpreter, began working as a translator for Mr. Otani when Mr. Otani first came to the United States to begin playing professional baseball. Mr. Mitsuhara had first met Mr. Otani in 2013, so the two men knew each other. Mr. Otani did not speak or understand English, while Mr. Mitsuhara knew English and was familiar with the United States. As a result, Mr. Mitsuhara acted as Mr. Otani's de facto manager. In 2018, shortly after Mr. Otani arrived from Japan, Mr. Mitsuhara helped Mr. Otani set up a bank account. That was a bank account that was used to deposit Mr. Otani's salary payments from professional baseball. Mr. Mitsuhara had access to that bank account, and he refused to give access to Mr. Otani's other professional advisors, including his agent, his accountant, and his financial advisor. And he told them that Mr. Otani wanted to keep that account private. In 2021, Mr. Mitsuhara began placing sports bets with a group of bookmakers who were linked to an illegal gambling operation. Over time, Mr. Mitsuhara's bets became more and more frequent. And over time, Mr. Mitsuhara's bets became larger and larger in amounts. Messages between Mr. Mitsuhara and the bookmaker show that he lost considerable money on those bets, but he continued to make the wagers, thousands of wagers over time. The bets do not appear to have been made on the sport of baseball. At the same time he started placing the bets with bookmakers, Mr. Mitsuhara began using Mr. Otani's account to make payments for the bank account. Mr. Mitsuhara had helped set up the account so he was familiar with it, and he used that familiarity to access the account. The evidence we've gathered over the past few weeks has demonstrated that in total, Mr. Mitsuhara stole over $16 million from Mr. Otani's account in order to pay for these illegal sports bets. Phone and bank records show that Mr. Mitsuhara appears to have accessed Mr. Otani's bank account online. What is more, Mr. Mitsuhara lied to the bank to access the account. For instance, we've obtained recordings of telephone calls in which Mitsuhara spoke with bank employees, lied to them about being Mr. Otani, gave personal biographical information for Mr. Otani in order to impersonate him, and thereby convinced the bank to approve large wire transfers of large amounts of money to the bookmakers.